So I haven't even played my game yet, but I wanted to just come in and give a little commentary on this. Um, yeah, 14 shots to three, eight on target to none, 1.19 to 0 0.39. Uh, seventy-eight percent possession to twenty-two percent. This is Man City level dominance you're seeing here by Atleti. Look at this. Calatrava is multiple touches in the box, gets around one, two, three players, and just puts it in the roof. You that cannot be happening. If Segoviano wants to survive this year, that that cannot be happening. Wow. Uh, you can hear the crowd giving the yays. And Manu tries to injure Mini in a scissor tackle, and obviously he's going to be taken off. He's done. I also think he was the captain, too. Yeah, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Atleti absolutely demolished these guys. This was, this was, you know, enemy at the gates, just battering ram. Uh, yeah, there we go, Frank Gonzalez off a uh, set piece. But three shots, like you're not, they're not even coming close to your net. All right, and uh, I still haven't played. This is the, the uh, noon time kickoff here. Um, Sequeamos at home to Di Casano. Eight shots to five, three to one. Uh, roughly the same on XG. It's a nil-nil game. Uh, oof. Nice steal, Ubis. Just fluffed his lines. He's unable to score that one. Um, yeah, I mean, Dio Cassano, 70% possession. Ooh. Okay. But, um, yeah, this. I mean, that's not super inspiring. This game is not very inspiring. Um, both teams needed points and to share them. Not even score either. You know, they can walk away with the clean sheet as a, as an additive, but I mean, if you're looking at this XG, it's not like you really were. I don't know. I mean, yeah, they're they're just they're two bad teams. That's the thing. They're two bad teams, and you're, you know, walking away from a nil nil. Um, doesn't really help you. It kind of it it actually reinforces in my mind that these two teams deserve to be down here. Um, Toboso, I'm sure, had a good game. I was looking too. Ubis, uh, their striker here for Sequemos, actually had a bad game. Um, he didn't play well. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's a nil nil, but just beyond that, this is offsides for sure. But, man, uh, Diego Sano, again, f I mean, f having five shots in a game is really, really terrible. And only one on target, like, that reinforces my idea that they still can't score. They still have an issue uh, on offense. And Sequeamos, um, you know, just ne neither team actually giving a definitive win tells me that these guys are just they're just that bad but um, yeah it's still no that was a good save that was a good save here's another game at the noon kickoff good goal by uh, Calleja from the set piece Danny Cuevas good um, yeah Adarve hosting Alcorcón B you, know, you can see the 2-1 victory here for Lobos you know, nine shots to ten, but the XG is a little off. Alcorcón actually was able to create better quality chances, um, you know, and even more on target as well. But ultimately, uh, I am surprised. Look, you know, they did it without their main man of Segovia, um, and yeah, Juanma's over. But I mean. Last second, too. They, they scored in the 28th. They are holding on for the rest of the game, and it became the 91st minute where Hartza Sanchez, uh, who is the backup striker, by the way, to Segovia. Um, it's his second goal of the season. Oh, unbelievable save. That's probably where all, all that XG went, just that, that save right there. But Hartza Sanchez um, was able to get the, uh, 
the goal. He scored against Cordia a couple of weeks ago. I was looking into it for this uh, game here. But and then Baladia getting a consolation goal right at the end uh, for Alcocon B. But Harta right over the top. Nice. All on the right foot. Just a quick touch, quick finish. And yeah, uh, good replacement for Segovia. If, if he's able to carry it forward, he's uh, definitely younger. He's 22 years old. Uh, against the 37-year-old Segovia. Let's see this uh, consolation goal here. Ball over the, over the top. Good win. Who's this? Lobato. Yeah. That's it. I mean, when you're bottom, you stay bottom. And this is the last of the noon kickoffs here. Valdera. Starting the game off early, eight minutes in, getting a header goal from Pina in a set play. But you can see this is a demolition. Four, nothing. Uh, XG not even close. Victor got totally shut out. He got a yellow. He actually, uh, I was looking, he got like a 5.9 rating. I mean, Espana locked down this team. And Vito Vens got found out. They got totally destroyed. At home. Domingo, that's a great, that's, I mean, that's a great goal. That's a really good team goal. But now they're up two in 12 minutes. You know, they'll finish it off 3-0 right before halftime with Rodiega here. Um, not in this highlight, but, yeah, I mean, this is a demolition job. They, they got picked apart. I mean, look at this. Awudu, that was a good chance. It was a decent shot, too. Company is uh, able to hold on to it, but it's in the rain. It's like ugly conditions. Victor was not, like, totally shut down. Didn't see him the whole game. Pajuelo over the buck. That was a good chance. All right, so they, they did, they were able to have some good chances. Uh... They didn't have, like, that much possession either. I was really expecting this to be a much tighter affair, but uh, I maybe the calculus is a little off here. Uh, Vino Vens might uh, actually not be that good, and Estepona is, is much better. Yeah. Um, man, that's this is crazy. I mean, nine corners to three? That was a good save, too. That, that's an excellent save. Victor, I, I expect him to score. I mean, he's been literally on fire. 12 goals and six is crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean... And the thing is, too, it's, like, it's in the rain. Like This, was, this is a dramatic, dramatic game. Oh, James just absolutely caught by R Rodiega there on the back post. He's just standing, jumping, and Rodiega just absolutely pounded it. Uh, yeah. Wow. I'll be uh, my game's on next uh, after this uh, this new kickoff, but I had to, I had to watch this because like this is this is. First v third going into this, and um, Espana, both these teams have been absolutely on fire. But my God, Domingo, Cordiega, nope, cleared away. I'm on key highlights, and uh, yeah, there's there's plenty of, there's plenty of stuff out here to watch and see. Pina. Getting the ball in. Rodiega. Uh, it's over the bar. Let's uh, skip. Where's... Uh, this is going to be a quick highlight. Yeah? Pina? Oh, off the top of the bar there. See, see what I mean? Like, Estepon is down their throat right now. No, I want to see what the... Give me, where's the build up? 
Oh, they got a guy in Frodo. That's amazing. Lord of the Rings. Domingo, Valdetta. It's going to be a ball over the top, and they're going to foul him. Watch this. Never mind. If they're just going to let Pina dribble into him. Crash him into the box. Exposito. Yeah, there it is. There it is. And Rodiega. Um, to finish this game off, I mean... I'm astounded. I'm astounded Estepona just literally just put him in the trash. The away <laughs> And they're they're away from home too in the, the most informed team and it just all of a sudden it's like uh like an overnight fever just broke. All right, and um maybe I'll just show you my match as I go. Uh maybe that's just the way to do it. But here um let's see. It's going to be uh you know, Katala at the top there, per normal. As you can as you can probably imagine, he's just been on fire and I there's no way to replace him, ultimately. But uh Baragan and Christo. Christo is carrying a bruised ankle issue uh into this match, but there's no way I can change him out right now because he's doing so well. Kundul, Pozo, and Batanero in the middle. That's you know, uh been kind of commonplace for the last couple matches here. Madrigal, Cardoso, Javicino, and Anibo. Uh same back line. Tienza is going to get the start because Bernabe uh, hurt himself. He has spr uh, sprained wrist ligaments in training uh, in the middle of the week. So Sergio Tienza is going to be taking the starting spot and then on the bench. Uh, no changes beyond, obviously, Eisen Rodriguez, our third choice keeper, is going to step into the bench. So let's um, let's see how this goes. Take it on Leganes B. Uh, Ismail, yeah. Okay, never sure. Um, let's go. Yeah, carry on for the last performance. Midfielders, I got faith in you. For tactics, I, I have been watching all of these guys for a while now. So um, definitely let's do that. Uh, oh, the Cuyundo is met. Wait, don't. Yeah, don't do that. Um, yeah, close him down for sure. Close him down and then also put him on his weaker foot for Navarro. And Arauz, yeah, just uh, tight marking and closing down. I think we're good here. So let's uh, match preview this. Pretty standard. Here we go. Leganes hosting Montijo. <laughs> I'm hoping this is uh I'm hoping we're gonna do all right here. Now this is the first time I think I've done it uh at least live or so. I might chop it up. I'm not sure I don't know how to edit I don't know how to to like how I'm gonna edit this, but I might chop up just to give you like highlights of, of what this is, but um yeah. You know. Just playing around with the format. See what you guys like. I don't know. See what I like. Okay. So we're two minutes in. Gire. Come on, Kundula. Close him down. Oh. Okay. Okay, Navarro is dangerous. I just learned that. Alba, Lalo. I'm glad we got the three of these guys uh, here. Navarro, oh my god, what a cross field ball. Yeah, oh my word. Oh. Okay. I think I got to change my tactics here. Because uh, Navarro is on me 
badly. Um, I'm going to do weak close down for sure. Should I keep tight marking on him? I think I'm going to leave him off closing down. Um, I think that's just the way to go. Wow. Because that's a terrible start. This is the first 15 minutes of the match. I'm getting absolutely bounced. So, uh, I'm going to highlight already. I'm going to put Demand more on anyways. Ooh, nice ball of the box. Baragan, get it! Oh, it's a good save. Christian, any boat, keep the ball. Pozo. Let's play it away. Man. All right, so we had a good chance. Yamas has a yellow as well. That's notable in the midfield. Um, not bad. Cardozo over the top. Ruben Catala puts it down, hits it. Boom! He'll never stop. He'll never stop. Cardozo dinking it over the top to Ruben Catala. That's right. Just chests it down and then stabs it. Good, good finish. Cristo. Oh, Catala off the off the crossbar. Again. I mean, where where is this kid coming from? Put it in, Madrigal. Yeah. Pozo. Oh, Alba gets to it first. That's too bad. Anibo. Javicino. There we go. Kundul. Great ball. Cristo hit it. Uh, blocked. Uh, I was hoping it was going for a corner. That's all right. That's all right. Crystal might only have to last till uh, 60 minutes because that uh, that ankle. So if that's the case, then we'll probably have to bring on Ibra Keita. We're at halftime. Please go in and half. There we go. There we go. Okay. 1-0 at half. That's what I'm talking about. Um, pretty. It's been a pretty level game so far. And uh, I definitely had a really rough first start. Did not like that. Um, they did not care for that. Uh, I'm just going to tell them that they can make the difference. Um, I'm not going to make any changes yet. I think Christo is going to get another another 15 minutes. And I think we're just going to we're going to plan it like that. All right, Batanero. All right. Cristo. Here we go. I like the challenge. I like it. Anybody lives it up. Right. Ooh, steals it. Oh, Kundul. Oh. I like it. I like the I like the pot shots from the top of the 18. This is what we're going for. We can score those. We can definitely score those. We can definitely score those. Man, um, let's see here. I am worried about Aguirre, because if I'm honest, like he's uh, he's he's frightening. Cristo. All right, that wasn't that bad. He's a definitely a set piece specialist. Christo is. Um, 
yeah, let's just pause it real quick. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, probably going to put Ibukata, replace him with Christo, and then just swap around here. And Juan Baragan might have to also come out in a little bit. But uh, just looking around, I mean, nobody's – he's playing – Javi Chino's playing actually not that great. Um, I'll make note of that. I'm not going to change him out just yet. I know he's uh, his rating sucks, but – I want to keep just the continuity, I think, for now. Um, but, hmm. Here's the thing. I I like Amadoukan Duel in here because he's just the only one that has movement because Pozo, Batanetto, and Yeti are all, like, over 30. They don't have speed. He's the only one with, like, some physical traits that I, that I appreciate. Um, they have the technical traits. He doesn't. But, um, yeah, let's just, let's just do that for now. Let's encourage the team as well. It's blocked, but Katala has it. Pozo! Oh, <laughs> another crossbar hit. Another one. Oh, shit. It's 77 minutes. It just blew right by me. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, Gideon Aqua. Oh, no, I'm going to do Kundul. I think I'm going to throw him up on the right side. No, Pozo. Pozo up here. Um, And then that's where Yeti is going to come in. And then... Um, do, 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 do. Chun, Chino is probably going to have to come off. Julio Rodau. Uh, I got five subs available. Hmm... I'm going to keep Katala in. Should I? Batanero? No, I really can't do Batanero. All right, let's just do them two for now. Demand more. We're getting to the late edge, like the, these last edges of this game here. Still 1-0. It's tight. Not a lot going on in the second half here. Yet I, you got options. Katala, oh bad touch. No, Aguirre. He scares me. Lock him down. Get him. Yeah, crossfield bar. Navarro also scares me. Romarick. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for not punishing me there. That was a good hit. <laughs> that was a good hit. All right. Uh, Katala is definitely coming off now. And Gideon Aqua and then... Uh... Yeah, I think just Pedro Toro, maybe. I don't even want to put Toro on. Because 6'8 is not bad. He's motivated by my feedback. We got, f you know, only a few more minutes left. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. All right. Here we go. Manuel Rayo. coming on for my boy Katala come on Keita you gotta be stronger than that Andrew Gall you beast Cardozo is so good oh beautiful ball oh that's a red he had the ball he was in on net yeah thank you thank you Alejandro Alda get him off the field
I swear to you, if they score, they get this double up right. Okay, thank you. Pozo. Lay it out. Thank you, Yeti. You're slow, but you can deliver a ball. <laughs> Lay it off. Bataneto. There we go. Anibo. Oh. 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 I thought he was going to be two. Oh, man. Navarro. Lomarek. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not going the other way. Don't like this. There's an open man in the back post that I'm really scared of. Tienzo punches it away. All right. Rayo, see, Katala would have headed that down. He would have headed that down and, and given it to Pozo, but you didn't. And that's the difference of why you're not playing. Like, you got to keep hold of the ball here. Why are we under pressure like this? You know what? I'm going to do a cautious <laughs> park the bus. For the last four minutes. That is just to see what happens. Anybo, what a... That's a dominant header coming off the post there. Ismail, Alex. Thank you. 1-0. That's all I care about. All right. I'm uh, just off. Finish, I just finished my game, which is, uh, you know, I'm glad I'm glad we won. And Cordia is also uh, matching me stride for stride here, it seems, because they also got <laughs> off the crossbar. Uh, yeah, they, they matched me uh, stride for stride right now with uh, the unbeaten record. And uh, they beat a, def uh, a legit difficult opponent for uh, this game week here. I mean, Malia's no joke. Deco, that was a that was a decent chance. That was a decent shot. Um, yeah. Oh, hold on. Statistics. Um, shots thirteen to five on target four to two. XG. I mean, pretty close. But I mean, I would say point one seven. Eh, I don't know if that's that significant of a difference. But you know, Isma Cerro, that he's he's the difference. I mean, he's a legit player. He's one of their their star players. Um, great possession stat, you know, dominating over Malia. And yeah, I mean, Cordia is going to be very very happy about this because they're. St I mean, they're still a team that's just pushing and pushing and pushing, and they're grinding teams down. They're not getting scored on a lot either, and. Um, they're really impressive. I mean, they have they have a number of good pieces. You know, Sergio Gomez in the middle there. D Danny Garcia is usually good. He had a stinker today, absolute stinker. Um, yeah, Isma Cerro is legit on the on uh, Korea here. Gets around. Canias, Luis Rodriguez, Deco. Oh, what a hit. A nice follow-up, too. Yeah, see, like, if you have if you have players like that, like, Deco can hit it, and Isma Cerro can, can really, like, clock it, like, afterwards. I mean, what more could you ask for? Like, the follow-ups are everything. Those garbage goals can really get you over the line. Luque. Good hit. Dangerous. Oh, Isma Cerro. He could have had another one. He didn't uh, didn't quite catch it cleanly. But Malia, again, I'm kind of surprised that they're just not uh, catching the gear. Like there there's there's a snag on them right now, and they're one of the better teams in the league, and they should be pushed for promotion spots. But they're just not getting they're just not getting it done, and I don't know what that is. And here we are. We're uh. This is being broadcasted from Barcelona, uh, obviously. Serdinola at home to Don Benito. Um, yeah, 1-1. One, one. Uh, one team, the home team, it, in the doldrums of uh, 
relegation, I think was their second from bottom, third from bottom, and Don Benito is pushing for promotion spots. So, Josue, nope, Sergio's got it. Um, yeah, but like, I mean, it's a pretty even match for the most part. Uh, you know, I would say Sardinio had the better game, even considering the fact that they didn't have uh, possession. But, you know, 0.3 better XG is definitely better. Campare, he absolutely missed that. Totally miffed it. Um, nine shots to three, you know, two more that are on target. Yeah. This looks like uh, Sardinio like, could have won this. They could have won it like a 1 0. But. Oh! Laser! Gallego! That's that's excellent. That's a great goal. That's a great goal. Um, but yeah, I mean, Don Benito, I, that, this is a formidable team. I, they're legit. Josue. There we go, Domingo. Here's your, here's your danger man right here. Oh, Sergio. He had the ball, but he couldn't hold on to it. It's Guadalajara at home to Casareño. Um, and again, oh, oh, great. That's an incredible block. Who was that? Hossein? Um, yeah, XG never lies. Um, you know, you'll eventually revert back to the mean or what you should be getting. And I think this is what uh, Casareño is. Like, I... I I'm a vocal doubter of Casareño, and the XG is telling me that they're actually one of the better teams in the league, at least performance-wise, for XG uh, goals for, goals against, and expected points. This is, uh, I think this is one of the first games, uh, having that knowledge and that, that stat base, one of the first games to really open my eyes to this, because, uh, yeah, I mean, they beat Guadalajara away from home, uh, both these teams are, you know, in the same set of the table. And ultimately, Teachea here is going to... Yep. Okay. Checky. Teachea. <laughs> How is that in? That's so close. 1-0. That's great. That's a great goal. Um, but, yeah, I, you know, Casareño... I, I was a vocal doubter of this team. I thought they were going to be struggling. Uh, you know, clearly my opinion is incorrect and it should be, you know, undetermined for now. Um, because, I mean, in the rain, away from home, they just, you know, they, they put the team to bed. Look at this. 2.19 XG to 1.37. 20 shots to 13. 6 on target to 3. Uh, I mean, they had the better of the possession, just barely, but... Set, like, yeah, this is a this is a good this is a good team. Casadeño is a good team, and uh, I should put some respect on their name. So I apologize uh, to the fan base and the players. I should not have doubted you. Um, yeah, this is. I mean, I honestly thought this this should have been like the one one that we just saw. You know, but it, it's not. It's this was a clear. This is a clearly one team was better than the other team today, and uh, I mean, you could probably look at uh, Samu Manchon. You know, he's in El County. These are quality players that I very much rate. And uh, Guadalajara, to be honest, I don't know if I know of a player that I'm really fond of on another team. Yeah, that's definitely a... You got totally pushed in the back. Totally pushed in the back. Um, but I don't know if there's a player on Guadalajara that I really necessarily rate uh, that I think that he's like a cut above the rest. Down the middle, man. Down the middle. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Nancladis. The guy who just took the uh, the set piece there, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. I'll I'll let them have that. Who, who are these? Cruz, Moreno, yeah, Nancladis, Gerardo, Barreto. Who's this guy? Checky. 
Techea. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm trying to reassess now because there are players on Casareño where I, I look at them and i like, that's that's a good player. Like, just you could just see it on the field. They're like, that's a good player. Um, Garcia. Sam Manchon is a good player. I know that for a fact. Just the way he controls the game. Grande. Done. El County is a good player. Yeah. And they won fair and square. No problems. Cruz. Oh, that was a good chance. That was a really good chance. Good flicked header near post. Thompson. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Man, they got a lot. Oh my god, who? Are you kidding me? See, sometimes you get a little surprised by some of these shots that come through here. Techea. Oh my, he miffed it. Totally muffed it. Totally muffed it. We're at the end of the game now. Trare! And this is the 8.30 kickoff here. Um, yeah. Ended 2-2 at Lytico Paso in the Canary Islands at home against uh, Naval Carnero. Uh, eight shots to seven. Pretty close on target. Same thing. Uh, definitely a bit of divergence here with uh, 0.6 or so more. Um, an XG for Naval Carnero. The wayside. And possession also was a little out of whack but yeah interesting you know Tomeshkov again show, he needs another I was talking about quality players at this level that I'm like I would love to have that guy on my team Tomeshkov is that guy as a striker like I love Ruben Catala and Tomeshkov Victor he got he got absolutely destroyed you know and I just don't, I think that he might be like a confidence player, you know, like a, uh, a Marcus Rashford type. Like he can be, excellent. he can be world class level, but he relies on good vibes and confidence, you know, more so than, you know, I don't want to disparage Marcus Rashford, but <laughs> it's like, I mean, like, I'm not a Man United fan, but the, you, you get what I'm saying. Um, you know, He's, he's, uh, Tomeshkov is always a threat every game. He's super fast, very technical. Um, he's above this level for sure. Luis Ariano is also a very good keeper. I like him. Kalaj, he's a good keep, a uh, good right back. He's, I like him. I really like him. Heel. Oh. Oh, oh my word. Pelon, he couldn't clear it. He poked it up and he couldn't jump up high enough. Just like Tomatoskov just out jumped a center back. I'm just, I'm just pointing out facts. Just pointing out facts. And you know, Navalcanero, like they had a better game. So they deserve something from this game, from, something from this game, right? Are you, like, Tomaszkov took a shot from here and just almost put it right into the corner. Yeah, that's a terrible touch. Just give it away, why don't you, you know? Um, all right, we're in the 70th minute now. So here comes the goal. Borjas Martin. San oh, there we go. Oh, Santana Aradan. I didn't put those two things together, but that's okay. Oh, it's Aridon. That's the A in Santana. You know what? I'm a little slow, guys. I'm a little slow. Um, yeah, uh, let's see here, man. 
Oh. Terrible passing. That, I, that's probably one of the reasons why Navalcanero is always giving up these goals. They got bad midfield. Great attacking assets, bad midfield. Borjas Martin, he's a good player. I like him. I really rate him. Ortega. Oh, my God, that's abusive. Oh, my word. That should be illegal. At this level? At this level. You're going to be taking shots like that? Man. That was one of the goals of the season. That should be a contender. Top three so far. That was an outrageous curler. Outrageous. Oh, that's a that's a gorgeous, gorgeous finish. It's so t it's so neat, tidy, perfect. Just to tie it up as well. And here we are at the end of game week nine. Uh, I am top of the pile, as you can see. No losses so far. I can't believe it either. Uh, Estepona is also a major threat. I'm super scared of them. Don't think I'm not. Um, they're right behind me with one point. Vianovens also, uh, they look a little bit more human, but are also one point ahead of me, uh, behind me. Uh, Cordia, honestly, they scare me. They na they're now in scary territory for me um, because they just won't die. They just, <laughs> they just won't die. Uh, they beat a formidable opponent, Malia. I don't care if they're down there. I think that they're a difficult opponent. So, um, yeah, I mean... That might degrade if they stay down there for the rest of the season. Then maybe I'll I'll reconsider. But for now, this is a big fish in a small pond. Um, Atletico Paso and Navalcarnero split points here, so they are uh, truly just like that. Don Benito um, also got a draw and remains in seventh. Uh, can we actually do this instead? Thank you. I like to see the the movement arrows. That's a lot more helpful. Um, Atletico Madrid B, that's right, they absolutely beat the crap out of Segoviana, 2-0, uh, so that was uh, quite a, it's, I actually didn't expect the level of dominance in that game, the stats that came out of that game were actually quite shocking, 2-0 uh, is like a respectable scoreline, but I think if you look into the actual game, it's it's actually quite striking, um, yeah, so anyways, uh, Adarve, 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 uh, what do we do with you? Uh, you beat, well, you beat the, the worst team in the league right now, but, um, you did it without your, uh, main striker and Leganas B got beat, but they didn't move. Uh, Casareño, uh, that it was a, a, a good win, honestly, a really good win. And now they're in 11th place. Uh, they jumped up three points. Uh, oh, Malia dropped a little bit because of their loss. Uh, Sequemos. Uh, got a draw from Dio Casano. Yay. Um, yeah, they're, they're a point above the uh, the relegation zone. And then Guadalajara, they sink. Actually, they, they stayed the same spot, but they're still there. Segoviana sank. Um, yeah. And then, you know, Dio Casano, Serdinola. Again, in my opinion, these teams are not doing good. They're not well. Um, and Alcorcón. I mean, there's not much left to say there. So... That is uh, the end of game week nine here. Uh, I honestly like uh, if I had to pick like a like a game of the week. Um, man, I think Estepona beating Vienna events is probably the shock result of the week. I just in my opinion, I think that's what it is now. Going into next week. So we got Malia at home to Atletico Madrid B on Saturday at 8. Um, and we're going to be live from Africa. Um, oh, my God. Al Carcon B and Serdinola. Oh, my goodness. The basement battle. Oh, this they're down in the dungeons. Oh, that's such a oh, another great, great game. Um, you know, and we get a couple, a couple here, uh, you know, Estepona at home against a uh, mid-table mid uh, Ligonese team here. What's their schedule? 
How have they been doing? I mean, they're not bad. When they lose, they lose 1-0. You know, they're stubborn. So uh, that could be formidable, honestly. Uh, Navalcanero and Sequemos, uh, I think you stand it. I mean, one's pushing on one end. One's trying to prevent a drop from the other end. Casadeno, Atletico Paso. This is an interesting one because Atletico Paso is in that position where uh, they haven't proven yet like that they're the upper crust. Um, like the three of the three of us up here. So Paso away to Castellano. Castellano now, I think, might be uh they might be like halfway decent now. Um, you know, they've lost to that's a garbage ass team. Um <laughs> But I don't know, it's the XG is telling me something differently. So, you know, I have like a little bit of hope and they did beat Guadalajara, so you know, they might not be as bad as I thought they were. So that's something to consider. Dio Casano at home to Cordia. That should be an easy win for Cordia. It's just an easy one. I have to take on Vieno Benz. I'm probably the blockbuster like fight. You know, I'm praying. I'm praying that Vieno Benz had just an obliteration of confidence from getting destroyed by Stepona and that maybe I have a chance in also destroying them. Um, Don Benito and Guadalajara, decent game. Uh, Segoviana and Adarve, also a decent game. You know, mid-table, you know, uh, and relegation team. So, uh, I will see you in week 10. We'll see what happens. This is uh, very exciting, and uh, please, you know, stick with it. This is, uh, I'm going to do the whole season. It's going to be all 34 games, and then plus the playoffs. So, regardless of whether I'm in it or not, that's, you know, that's not what we're doing. We are seeing out the rest of the season. I just want to see what happens with these teams. Um, I think we already know what's going to happen with Alcarcon, unless something else happens. That's just my that's my prediction. I'm going to lay down one prediction now. Alcarcon gets relegated. That I'm just putting that out now. I know that the ten the ten game mark that I said you know two episodes ago or an episode ago is like really the marker that you should say. I'm stating Alcarcon B is going to get relegated already. That's my thing. But I'll see you in the next one.